gentlemen, we're back with another video. Now today is not some like crazy super, super hyped up video like the last two ones, by the way. You guys show crazy support on that. I appreciate that. I mentioned in many videos that we're on the grind at 90K and we smashed past 85K insanely quick. So if you're new, subscribe, I would appreciate it. Y'all wanna stream tonight me finishing off the grind for Fat Lever. I'm gonna need 300 likes in under 20 minutes. Now, here's the main thing that you guys, cause I, listen, you guys kept asking me this question, all right? How did I get into the glitch market? I get this question many times. Now, obviously there's one blade answer that is random, but like you guys, you guys ask a lot of questions aside from just that. I'm gonna be going over that in the video because it's a question everybody wants to know. Ooh. My brother is mad loud playing Fortnite. Obviously if you didn't see it, I can roll the clip really quick. Spam the shit out of W's. That's another one. Baby, bro, that bro. 1.1K in the stream, 3 a.m. to get Julius Randle, that's fighters I called it! Legs! Legs! I'm in the market! Let's go home! Let's go home! I called it! I called it! So you guys just saw, right? I got into the glitched market by playing Triple Threat Online really late at night. Basically gonna be answering the questions that you guys always ask me in stream because I would get questions about this quite literally every five minutes. So I'm making this video to answer all those. Now, here's the first thing. How did I get into the glitch market? Now, I've said this many times, I'm gonna say it again. Guys, I got it off playing Triple Threat Online. But I wanna clarify something. It's not just off Triple Threat Online, Triple Threat Offline, My Team Limited, My Team Unlimited. It can be in any game mode. You do not have to play a specific game mode to get into the glitch market. How? How do I know that? Because I get added in tweets literally every single day. I get DMs every single day of people getting into the glitch market and they say they get it either from challenge games, triple threat offline, domination, it doesn't matter. They get it from any game mode in the game. So you do not have to play a specific game mode. It's very random. As you guys saw in the video, I was playing triple threat online and I got Julius Randle. You guys, for whatever, didn't see because nobody's didn't send out yesterday. Check out that video of me getting, getting into the glitch market. But basically all it was is I got up to the fifth ball drop and I got Julius Randle and then after that like you guys saw I got into the glitch market but again you do not have to play this specific game mode it can be any game mode now here's another question I got is taco fall only in domination no got that question a lot too because I I'm pretty sure one person got taco fall from domination so it made everybody think that the only way or the best way to get him is from domination no another person just got him what was it sometime yesterday and he got him through triple threat offline so that is false I just because one person got it through domination doesn't mean that's the best way. Just like I got Frank Nilakina from Triple Threat Online. That doesn't mean Frank Nilakina, if you want to get Frank Nilakina, the best way to get him is through Triple Threat Online. Because JC, or JC130, he played two games. And he got OG and Anobi in Triple Threat Online. So this whole thing of like play domination and you're gonna, you have a better chance of taco, literally false, literally false. I know a lot of people that completed domination, the whole thing of domination already too, got Mel Daniels. And they did not see the glitch market once. So that's a literal lie. The next question, do you have to win the game to get into the glitch market? Now, I'm not sure if there's a definitive answer here because I'm not 100% sure on every single person that's gone into the glitch market if they've won or lost, but I'm pretty sure it's no. The reason why I say no is because you do not get into the glitch market based off when you win or lose the game. You literally get into the glitch market after you press continue. So if you finish your triple threat offline game or if you finish your triple threat online game, you remember how after you drop all your balls it says press X to continue or A, B, C, D, E, whatever it is on Xbox. Once you press A to continue, after that, that's when the glitch market is gonna pop up. Same thing in domination after you finish a game and then once you go blow back into the screen, that's when it would pop up. So that would leads me to believe that it's not based off winning because it's like just pre it's based off right now, just pressing continue and then if you get into it, you get into it. I'm like 90% sure you do not have to win the game to get it. Most people I have seen got, it, got into the market for playing offline games literally because offline is really easy. Like it's way easier than sweating like triple thread and that's where i've seen the majority of them now another question i got can you get into the market more than once this is very bright now thanks son can you get into the market more than once the answer is yes how do i know that again i've gotten multiple tweets and i got multiple dms of people getting in more than once and it's if you guys haven't seen it yet it's happened a lot of times basically i've seen pretty much everybody that's already gotten into it once get into it again and they get a different player so when you get into it again i'm i'm like pretty i'm like 90 percent sure you almost wouldn't get the same player because then it would just say sold out and you wouldn't be able to buy it or you'd be buying a duplicate card so i'm 90 percent sure when you get into it again it's like guaranteed that you're, you're gonna get a different player i could be wrong on that but that's my assumption but yeah 
yes, you can get into it more than once. It's not a thing of, oh, if you get into it once, oh, you're cucked, and then you can never get into it again. No, that's why I streamed last night going for Taco Fall, because I know you can get into it more than once. And while I think Frank Nilakina is a good point guard and it's a good card, obviously I want Taco. Now, side note, this is a top five point guard in the game, though. Another one, how long did it take you to get into the glitch market? For me, guys, I grinded three days straight. I literally grinded the day it came out, the next day, and then I went into the AM and got it at like five or three or four AM or two AM on stream, as you guys saw. So I got mine in three days, but again, I, I don't know how to preface this this easy, you guys. It's all randomized, so some people get it literally after their first two games of playing Triple Threat Online, their first game of playing Triple Threat Offline, maybe a game of Domination. A chat. I see a lot of people get it from challenge games. It's all RNG, so you might not get it for another week or maybe till the end of the season, but your friend might get it today in the next 10 minutes. It's all RNG. I want you guys to realize that, so if you see a method video on how to 100% get into the glitch market, fake as shit, my guy. <laughs> Here's another one that I got. What's the best way to get into the market? Now, I preface this a lot, and I probably said a little bit earlier in the video too, that the best way, in my opinion though, actually is playing Triple Threat Offline. Now, the reason why I say the best way is to get it through Triple Threat Offline, no, it's because you don't have the highest odds in that, it's all RNG, but the reason is because you can finish Triple Threat Offline games the fastest. You're playing against a CPU on next gen or current gen, Triple Threat Offline is very, very easy. You finish games in two to three minutes. So for that reason, you have a higher chance to get into the glitch market, because you're playing more games, right? The whole point of getting into the glitch market is after you play a game, after you then press continue, after you're done, whether it's opening the vault, finishing your ball drops, after you press continue, that's when you have a chance to get into the market. So that's why Trip with an offline, in my opinion, is the best way. If, you, if you're just strictly going for the market, you want to play Trip with an offline because that's the fastest way to finish games. Informational Denver in the building. I've also seen people say, you know, really some dumb stuff, like what cards did you use? Is it based on certain cards? That's just really quick. I've seen a couple people say that now. Guys, never, never, okay? It's not based, it's ORG again. It's not based on what cards you use. Don't, uh, no. And there, when you actually get into the token market, you have a player that you get. After that, you have a pack. Now, it actually varies. I thought everybody got the same pack. It varies. So when JC, he opened it, he got OG and Anobi, right? I got Frank Nilakina. His next thing that he got was a diamond shoe pack. But the next thing I got wasn't a, just a diamond shoe pack. It was a Kobe Grinch diamond shoe pack. So the second reward that you get alongside when you get in there, not just beside the player, I'm pretty sure it's like a diamond shoe or diamond contract at the worst. But it's not the exact same every single time. And then the last thing you get in there is the same though. It's just flash glitch pack. It's just flash glitch packs. It's literally old flash players. It makes sense that they just you know throw it in there. Why not? But that is in there for everybody. Even the people that get taco, that's in there for them at the end too. So wrapping it all up, I went over everything. Can you get into the glitch market more than once? Yes. Are you limited to how many times you get into the market? No, I've seen people get in more than two times. You have to play a certain game mode, better your chances at getting it. You can play strip with an offline to try to make it go a little bit faster, but is any specific game mode the best for a certain play or anything like that? No. How do you in general just get into it? It's all RNG, you gotta have luck. It's the main thing, you gotta have a lot of luck. Because every single time I stream, I get these questions all the time. So I hope I covered anything. If you guys have any more questions, you can leave it in the comments. But that's how I got into the glitch market. I hope it helps some of you because like I said, I get comments about this every two minutes when I stream. So I hope this helped a lot of you. Like the video so it can reach a lot of other guys. And subscribe here if you're new. We post bangers. This was an informational Denver type video, but we out here. Peace out, boys. I love you. I live in a constant state of fear and misery